Well, how do that? Jams, Desai, Captain of the Steves, and yes, the patch notes for No Man's Sky Interceptor are now live. So I'm going to put them up on the screen. I'm going to go through them with you. I've actually worked out how to do a few things in this now, people. But anyway, let's jump on over onto the actual screen itself. And let's have a little scrolly down. I like the artwork. No Man's Sky Interceptor. Yeah, look at these little wings that you can get. I like the... I think the Exodroid gets replaced out with a little Sentinel. Pretty darn freaking sweet looking at that. I'll see if I can make it a little bit bigger for you guys in the view of us. There we go. That's a bit better. Now let's scroll on down and take a look at what we have. Okay. Interceptor. Introducing update 4.2. Venture to a forsaken sentinel world in update 4.2 Interceptor. Explore corrupted planets, fight a legion of challenging new robotic guardians, hijack their technology, steal their ships, harvest their resources, destroy their freighters, and much, much more. I destroyed a freighter just momentarily ago. And that's how you get one of the parts to fix your freaking ship, mate. I guess. So, yeah, that's a, that's a thing. I'm, I'll be doing a video on that, so just stay tuned. Right, well, let's watch the trailer, because I haven't seen the trailer yet. Okay, so let's hit play. I'm just going to mute it, just in case I get copy striked or something. Let's make that as big as possible. And let's make it as good as quality as possible as well. And let's have a little look-see. Right, oh, so yeah, I've seen a lot of this. However, mine, I'm, I'm on a swamp biome, but this biome looks quite gnarly with droids. I haven't ever come across a planet that has beetles on and droids at the same time. Abandoned camps. I've not come across an abandoned camp as yet, people. Heck no, don't know how to locate them. Hopefully the patch notes will tell us how. Corrupted resources, okay. Coolio. This is the new ship. I've actually got it now. I can fly it. Sentinel cockpit. And yeah, there's all wires and everything in there. Yeah, it's pretty darn freaking gnarly. I have to try it in VR. Could be quite pretty darn awesome in VR, I think. Okay, well, they've got wingman on. He's managed to get sentinel wingman. How the fudge? Okay, new ship technologies. Yeah, it does exactly the same stuff as the old technologies, though. New enemies. I haven't tried shooting anything with this new ship yet. Improved combat. Yeah, so you can actually take out the actual freighter now, and it all blows up. You have to take out all the guns and then shoot its hull. Sentinel weaponry. Nice. What's that? Stealth enemies. Okay. And oh, I've come across these things as well. Custom we corrupted walkery things, if you want to call them that. New ship class? Heck yes. And look at that backpack from behind. It looks a bit freaking big from behind, actually, doesn't it? I'm not too sure whether I like that. Capital ship battles? Heck yes. Kaboom. You can blow them up now, which is long overdue. But that's, that's pretty much the update in a nutshell, isn't it? We're, we're going to carry on. We're going to carry on reading the actual patch notes and see if it gives us any indications of how to do, well, how to locate those um, sentinel abandoned camp things. Expand your fleet with your very own salvage sentinel interceptor starship. Hunt down your perfect sentinel ship or collect a whole range of these sleek procedurally generated interceptors. Oh, so they're different, are they? Mine looks just like this one here, but that one looks pretty darn groovy. Okay, coolio. Oh, look at that one. That one's pretty darn freaking vicious looking, isn't it? Luckily, I found a red and black one right off the off, people. Heck yes, matches my logo colours. Pretty darn swank. That's quite nice. Corrupted planets. A darkness spreads through the Sentinel Horde. Many forfeited worlds have succumbed to corruption, with strange crystals sprouting from each of their robotic guardians twisted into bizarre new life forms. Explore these purple hazed worlds and find new buildings, crashed interceptors, and secret equipment. And more. And more, you say, and more. Okay, what's the more? Okay, well, I haven't come across all the equipment, I guess. Movable wrist projectors. Oh, nice. That's brilliant for freaking VR. I like that. That's clever. Oh, <laughs> I like that. That's cool. All right. Nice. Okay. That's, that's that's blowing up the freighter felt really good, to be fair, people. Yeah. Try it. It's good, good fun. Sentinel fleets have evolved. System authority ships now appear in hundreds of procedurally generated variations, variations dramatically diverse in their silhouettes and styles. Well, that's something that people have wanted for a long time. Ship hunters, a new ship type to hunt. I mean, these things don't land, so you've got to find them on planets. And the only way that I'm finding them is by either taking out the uh, freighters or by doing something on the planet's surface, by taking out loads of corrupted sentinels and then it pops you a location. 
So I guess that's going to add another dimension of people wanting to search out and hunt their favourite type of ship. Luckily we got given a few extra ship slots, but I'm going to fill those quite quickly with some of these new awesome type looking ships. But what I, what I haven't managed to find out is whether I can put normal technology inside of these ships. But there we are. Let's uh, scroll on down and see if we can answer our own questions. Corrupted Sentinels. The strange power flowing through the corrupted worlds has warped the Sentinels beyond recognition. Colossal semi-arachnid machines stalk these dissident worlds, ready to pounce upon unwary travellers. Those who take on the corrupted, corrupted swarm should beware their devastating flamethrowers and long-distance explosives. I did want spider tanks, didn't I? I actually did a little mock-up of spider tanks so many years ago, and now we've got spider tanks. Okay, brilliant. We've got sentinel spider tanks. I guess. Brilliant. Okay, well, that's a pretty cool biome, isn't it? That looks like one of those sort of exotic sort of trophy planets. That'd be a better sort of planet to be on. Mine's covered in freaking mountains and everything, but that looks cool. Aeron Turbo Jet. Explorers who delve into the mysteries found on corrupted worlds will uncover plans for a unique Sentinel jetpack, customization with high tech engines, pre cord, and constant flow of pognium and nitrogen. Okay, nice. Pretty darn freaking cool. Oh, I think Jason's, Jason plays are going to like those purple jets, isn't he? Nice. Okay, well, let's uh, scroll on down. What we've got going on here. I imagine you can change out the jet colours, but it does look cool with purple, doesn't it? Anyway, this is pretty darn sweet. I like that image. That's cool. That's a nice sentinel looking ship. Okay, in the center, uh, interceptor cockpit. Yeah, it does look pretty nice. For the first time, step inside of a sentinel ship and see the universe from the perspective of an interceptor. Operate and interact with its advanced sentinel technologies up close, piloting the inter interceptor ship from its unusual vestigial cockpit. All right, fine. Pretty darn sweet. Harvest the corruption. As you wander the dissident world, direct your mining laser towards the ethereal radiant shards bustling from the terrain. Collect anomalous crystals to fuel your salvage sentinel technology or harvest and refine new resources directed from the remains of the defeated sentinel forces. Okay. Sentinel ship technology. Interceptor ships are powered by unique sentinel components, hungering for radiant shards. Engage in the anti-gravity well to lift off and follow the gaze of the Crimson Core and dash through the tunnels in space-time. What the fudge are you on about, mate? What the fudge is that all about? Okay, anti-gravity and all these other bits and bobs. I've got the ship and I haven't paid too much attention to the technology. I thought it's just like the living ships where you get different images but they do the same thing. But I could be wrong. Sentinel quadpred combat units have been improved with new animations, intelligent pathfinding, tremendously improving their mobility and agility when hunting travellers. I always think, I've always thought they're slightly more OP than the freaking walkers, you know? I find these dog creatures one of the most annoying of sentinels to do combat with. Well, that's just me. That looks pretty darn awesome. That almost looks modded. Okay, crashed interceptors. Sentinel interceptor ships. Though supremely powerful in deep space, have begun to fall from the skies on deharmonized planets. Explore the secrets of these strange wells to locate the crashed site and undertake a new mission to install a pilot interface, minding your mel uh, mind with that of the ship and adding to your fleet. Okay, sweet. Corrupted World and Nexus missions. Oh, we've got new Nexus missions. Nice. The inhabitants of the space anomaly, dis distrib disturbed by the disharmonious corruption of the Sentinel Swarm, request that travellers band together to root out the corrupted Sentinels and destroy their foul machinery, group up with friends or strangers at the Nexus and sign up for this new mission. Sweet. Okay. Spawning Cow. Okay, the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion is engineering a blueprint for traditional Gek Spawning Cow. Synthesize this custom exotic customization to don the appearance of the esteemed trait lord. Oh, he's so cute. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? Okay, interesting. Well, it's about time they gave some new sort of cosmetics for the old Gek, isn't it? But there we go. Robotic curiosities. Scraps and robotic anatomy can be found littering corrupted planets, but the remains unclear how they relate to the crystalline power sweeping from the distant wells. Autophage. Recovering corruption to awaken the internal circuits. I've done two of these now. The first one said seven. The second one said six. So I'm wondering if it's a countdown, you know, five, four, three, two, one. Then I don't know what happens at the end of it. 
Maybe you get these. <laughs> Sentinel multi tools. Explore the corrupted worlds to add two unique multi tools to your arsenal. These are unconventional weapons, are bolted together from scraps of Sentinel machinery. Their hostile optics hijacked and repurposed for use as high powered mining lasers. Alright, they look pretty darn swanky. Not gonna lie, they look alright. Not too bad. Swarming quadrupeds. Face off against swarms of corrupted Sentinel spawns. These Aggressive mini machines, no, no fear, and relentlessly pursue their traveller foes all the way to the bitter end. They are little gits, but they are quite cute, aren't they? All right, well, let's uh, scurry on down. Salvage missions. Repairing and modifying a crashed interceptor requires a degree of skill and expertise with guidance from the missions log. Yeah, my missions log didn't work that well. It helped, helped me find the first component, but didn't help me locate the second component. It wasn't until I destroyed a freighter and a load of freaking attack ships that it gave me the second one. So if yours doesn't work, that's how you do it. Go into space and fight some sentinels in space and blow up a, a freighter. Hopefully that'll sort it for you. Gather specialised materials to bypass Sentinel security and prepare these once autopiloted ships for manual flight. Geometric Cape Polo's robotic companion is designing an upcoming Cape blueprint soon available to synthesise aboard the Space Anomaly. Woven from star silk, blend this attractive customization bears the classic geometric design. Does look rather nice. Are we going to be able to see it in multiplayer? And our Switch player is going to be able to wear it at all? Okay. Advanced drones. Corrupted Sentinel drones have a new visual style and a range of intelligent behaviours and attacks. Their weaponry varies from rapid fire energy weapons to grenades to corrupted flamethrowers that they would tactically repair heavily damaged drones. Yes, they, I wouldn't say they're overly challenging these new combats with these corrupted sentinels. About on par with normal sentinels, to be fair. Okay, well, let's uh, scroll on down and see what else we've got. That does look nice. That's a nice ship. All right, Cursed Machinery. That's the one that I couldn't find on the planet. It didn't let me find that. And now it is, and it picks it up with the sweep scanner. But like I said, I had to blow up a freaking freighter before it started working. Ominous detonated residents drill into the crust of the corrupted Sentinel welds, pumping out whatever decay and darkness simmers below the surface. Built from rare Sentinel materials, destroying these machines is both lucrative and highly dangerous. Okay, chicka boom, you're dead, I guess. Abandoned encampments. Here we go. This is the thing that I haven't come across yet. Mysterious harmonic camps can now be found across the corrupted planets. Explore these abandoned sites to solve puzzles and reclaim technology and perhaps learn of the secrets of whoever constructed and then fled these scrapyard encampments. Harmonic interface. Scan memories register for harmonic glyphs. Glyph 6, glyph 3, glyph 4... Oh, I wonder if when I'm repairing those robots at crash sites, they're giving me, you know, seven, six, five. Maybe I need to do more of those. All right, fine. I'll just press on and see what happens. And if I come across one, I'll be sure to stick it in a video. Xbox visual improvements. Uh, the Xbox is always going to look like some sort of bin that you put your bags out on. Um, oh, sorry. No, it's in game on all Xbox consoles. The rendering resolution now... Um, situationally adapts in real time to improve the visual quality wherever GPU bandwidth allows and maintains constant frame weight in visual complex scenes. This is advanced technique has a oh, brilliant. Well, there you go, Xbox players. You're now on a next gen console. Freaking awesome. Again, let's uh, scroll down a bit further. Explosive swarms. The velocity circuitry of the corrupted swarms make them prone to spontaneous combustion especially when their armour or integrity is compromised. Keep your distance and beware of their aggressive pounce. Oh, they explode, do they? Freaking sweet. Okay. Coolio, let's uh, scroll down a little bit more. That's a cool ship as well. That's nice. Unseen enemies. Oh, yes, I've had them go in stealth mode. All Sentinel quadrupeds have upgraded their carpus with technology developed them in the ability to phase in and out of stealth and catch unwittingly travellers with their surprise attacks. Nice! Custom Wonders a Record. Curate your own collection of favourite discoveries with the personal records section of the Wonders catalogue. Bookmark spectacular planets, bizarre alien creatures, favourite flowers and more. That's kind of cool. It'd be nice if we could um, one day maybe terraform a planet and then populate it with our favourite wonders or something. That'd be cool. That is an awesome Diplo. 
Okay, Sentinel Capital Ship Battles. Sentinel Capital Ships deployed to counter extreme citizen insubordination in space can now be damaged and even destroyed. Defeat the Sentinel Freighter to claim victory in space combat, forcing nearby interceptors into retreat and earn high value rewards. Nice! Chicka boom! Take that freighter! Chicka pow pow! Boom! I did not see it explode like that when I did that. I was too close to it to see exactly what happened. That's awesome! That does look cool, doesn't it? Thank you, guys. And then we're at the bottom of it all. Sounds pretty darn freaking sweet. Corrupted World, Rendering an Operation, VR, Custom Wonders, Sentinel Multi Tours. There's so much to take in there, people, in the bottom of the actual patch notes. But there we go. That's, that's looking pretty darn freaking sweet as far as an update goes, isn't it? But, um... It depends how long we have to sort of delve in to get all this new technologies. I mean, I haven't come across the multi-tools. And I don't know whether I need to stick in different tech inside of these multi-tools. The ships have got different tech sort of icons. But I can't see whether they're any different to what we've got inside of other ships. So I need to do a bit more of a deep dive into this. This sort of scratches the surface. I need to dive, dive on in, do more inside of the game. And once I understand more inside of the game, perhaps I might be in a position to do a review of this update. However, on the surface of it, it doesn't. Be I don't believe it's delivering in some sort of expedition. There's no mention of one here either. So I don't know. It's, it's an odd one. I'm enjoying it. It's given me something else to do for a little while. But is it something that's going to keep players coming back, which I think No Man's Sky sorely needs? I don't know at this stage. I need to dive in and see how long it takes me to get everything sorted, but I'm already flying around in the new ship. Haven't seen those outposts, don't know about the new technologies that are in them, and um, I haven't unlocked the new multi-tools yet, so I'm still learning. Till next time, people, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.